Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Yvonne, and today I'll be sharing with you outfit ideas that you can wear to any summer wedding. So we know that 2020 was a rough year on all of us, and especially those who had to cancel or postpone their wedding, their dream day. In 2021, we're slowly and surely getting through the pandemic, and our brides are reclaiming their time. If you're anything like me, you've had a number of weddings to attend this year. And so today I'm gonna to give you some tips that can take you to any wedding, from a beach wedding to after five. So let's get into it. Let's start with what to wear to a beach wedding. So for our beach wedding, I chose this really cute little mini dress in yellow, which is a bright, great color for summer. It has a lot of frills, which has a lot of movement. When the wind is whipping off of those waves, it's giving you life, it's giving you body. I paired it with these really cute little pearl heart earrings because of course heart for love for weddings i also paired it with these clear mule heels which i love i mean mules and clear heels will go with anything right if you're not into heels you can also pair this with a cute little gold sandal i also paired it with this cute little clutch because at weddings of course you want to have a bag to store all of your little goodies in um, this is just a cute little Gucci bag. It's a neutral color. It goes with anything. So this is look one for a beach wedding. The second look we have for a beach wedding is this super cute floral lavender jumpsuit that I purchased from ASOS. Again, it has a lot of movement, perfect for a wedding, perfect for a beach. I love the color, I love the floral print for an outdoor wedding. I paired it with these pearl drop earrings that are also lavender, so we have a monochrome look, but it also gives a little dimension. I feel like a statement earring is a great way to elevate a look for a more formal occasion. I also paired it with these cute white strappy sandals that I just purchased from ASOS as well. They're super comfortable, super versatile, which is a key for me. When anytime I'm purchasing something, I think to myself, where can I wear this? I can think of about three or four places that I can wear it from day to night, casual to formal. I'm in. So these are really cute and really comfortable. Again, paired it with this neutral bag. And I'm all set to go to a beach wedding. Okay, so if you've been invited to a garden wedding, you can opt for this really beautiful chiffon sage green mini dress. It has long sleeves, but it's a mini dress, so it's still giving sexy, sophisticated, chic. It has these sheer billowing sleeves, which I think are elegant, gorgeous. I love the color green for a garden wedding because I think it would look beautiful with the backdrop of the florals, the outdoors. I paired it with these really pretty tribal drop earrings that are in the same color family as the dress and the other accessories, so to tie it all in. I also paired it with these super cute chocolate mules that I got from ASOS. They're kind of high, so if high heels are not your style, of course, you can adjust the styling to whatever fits your flavor. I also paired it with this cute neutral bag, which is also really dainty and it still stays in the neutral color family. And that's what we have for our first garden wedding look. For my second garden wedding look, we have this, another mini dress because it's summer, it's hot, and we love to have our little legs out, okay? If you got great legs, a mini dress is for you. This is a light blue floral print dress that I got from ASOS. It's made out of a very sturdy quality material. It has this beautiful 
puff sleeve, which I think is a statement, super cute. You're gonna definitely turn heads at the wedding. I paired it with my lavender pearl drop earrings to try to bring out a little bit of the lavender that we have and the details. I also paired it with some strappy black and clear sandals. Again, you could pair this with a flat sandal if you'd like, if that's more your speed. And I also paired it with this cute black uh, trapeze bag that I got from Charles and Keith. I love the quality and the styling of their bags. And this is what we have for a garden wedding. Super cute, super chic. It'll definitely keep you cool at a wedding, but also give you a little space to dance and have fun. Very cute. Of course, because of the pandemic, people are opting to have smaller weddings or smaller ceremonies. They're calling them minimonies. So if you've been invited to a small, intimate wedding gathering, this pencil dress number could be an option. So I got this from ASOS this year. It should still be in stock. But of course, as you all know by now, I love a little movement. So this is giving flirty movement vibes. I paired it with the same shoes. Of course, very versatile. They can go with a lot of different outfits. I paired it with these gorgeous floral drop earrings that are ruby red and pink. I think it was a good color combination to kind of bring out the micro print in the dress. I've also paired it with this simple black clutch. It's YSL, it has a gold detailing to just give it a little bit more of a pop. And here we have the first look for an intimate wedding gathering. Another option for an intimate wedding gathering or a wedding event is to give him something a little unexpected. Now this is for my boss chicks, okay? A blazer dress or a cute short suit set is definitely a very unexpected but elegant, gorgeous option. So to make a short suit look a little bit more glam, I've paired it with these floral earrings again. So the blazer I purchased from Zara. Zara has amazing quality blazers for great prices. So if you're looking for a new blazer because you're going back to work soon, check out Zara and all of their um, suits and separates. The shorts I got from H&M. The bodysuit I got from ASOS a little while back and I love the asymmetrical detail. The shoes are from ASOS and the clutch YSL. For my bride that's pulling out all stops at her wedding, you gotta go big or go home. So after five calls for a floor length gown. So here I'm giving you a very simple, elegant, chic, floor length black gown that I ordered from a website called Giddy Online. I paired it with these stunning Betsy Johnson chandelier earrings that have pearls and other little stud details with a couple of other glam, jewelry pieces, a simple black clutch, and we have After Five. Simple elegance at its finest.
Another option for a traditional wedding or after five, because it is a floor length gown, is something a little bit more fun, a little bit more flirty. I love this zebra print um, maxi dress that I got from ASOS just this year, so it should still be in sock. I love this dress because of all of the fun details that it has. I'm loving the ruffles, again, movement, fun, dancing. It has this gorgeous split in the front to show off a little leg because we love getting legs, ladies. And then it also has this super gorgeous lace detail in the back, which I think is just very darling. For the accessories, I did a color block moment where I paired it with these green floral drop earrings that I got from Amazon for only about seven bucks. Love Amazon fashion. And I also paired it with this burnt orange Brandon Blackwood box bag, which I think is super dainty. I actually wore this to a friend's wedding and it was so much fun. I just love the vibe that it gave me. It brought the energy with just the dress, okay? So this is another gorgeous option for a traditional wedding or after vibe. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. Do you have any weddings coming up this summer? Let's chat about it. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next one.